anyone who's new here, my name is Cody and I run a food blog called Garnish and Gather, which you found because you're watching this Instagram live. So um, today as part of USA Water Polo at home or at home with USA Water Polo, um, I'm making my oops, sweet potato toast two ways. So if you've never heard of sweet potato toast, um, you're not the only one. It's fairly odd. But basically you make toast, or you use a sweet potato as you would a piece of bread. Um, so we're gonna cut it pretty thin, we're gonna cook it in the toaster oven, or a regular toaster if that's what you have. And then I'm gonna top one with sweet ingredients and one with savory. So we're gonna make a peanut butter and banana and honey version, and then a fried egg avocado toast version. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So first we're gonna cut our sweet potato. Actually, here, let me show you our ingredients. Flip this around. Okay, so this is what we're working with. We have a sweet potato. This one is a Japanese sweet potato, I think. It's a little bit lighter on the inside. Either works, the red, like yam kind, or this. I have a banana, honey, ground cinnamon, some peanut butter. That's all for the sweet version, obviously. And then for the savory version, we have an avocado one egg we're gonna use half the juice of this lemon garlic powder salt and pepper super easy not a lot of ingredients and it tastes really good it's one of my favorite breakfasts and i have my garbage bowl if you're watching last week you know that i always keep a bowl on the counter um, while i'm cooking and i just throw scraps or garbage in it so i don't have to walk back and forth so let's cut this sweet potato so you can see a little bit better of what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut the ends off like this. And then instead of trying to balance it on this short end, okay, it's a little bit wobbly, I'm going to slice just a little bit off the side like this. Just the skin that you wouldn't really wanna use anyways, just super thin, throw that away. Okay, and then I'm gonna balance it on that end so that it's a lot more stable when I'm trying to cut this way. So it's obviously a lot easier if you have a super sharp knife, but we're going to start cutting these. Okay. You want it to be about like a quarter, half, quarter or half of an inch thick, um, depending on how long you want it to cook for. Okay. So this would be one sweet potato toast, just like this. So that will be one. We're only going to make two today. All right, and there's the second one. Easy enough. If you have a sharp knife, it makes it a lot easier. I'm going to set this aside. And then, let's see, so you can see what it tastes. Okay, so I'm going to place these in my toaster oven for probably six to eight minutes. Um, if you have a toaster, you literally just put these in the toaster like a piece of bread and you'll probably have to do it two or three times. These are gonna get nice and browned um, and you wanna cook them until they're fork tender. So let me throw this in there. All right, so while those cook, we're gonna start working on our toppings. So first, Let's do the savory version and mash up our avocado. So I have a pretty large avocado. I'll probably only use half of this. Um, save the other half for later. And then if you're not sure, if you keep the seed or pit, I don't know what it's called, inside here, it keeps the avocado fresh in the fridge. So that is a good tip. We're gonna spoon this out into a bowl and then mash it up with a fork. I don't know about you guys, but every time I go out to breakfast or brunch, I always end up getting sweet potato, or not, not sweet potato, avocado toast. It's like my favorite, favorite breakfast item. Um, even though I always say I'm gonna order pancakes, I never do. I always go for the savory. So just 
like this. Half an avocado, we're just gonna mash it with the back of a fork. If it's ripe, it should be pretty easy. And then, like I've said before on these things, if you have any questions, just type them in the comments. I'll do my best to multitask. So once that gets all mashed up, we're gonna add, I know this is a good avocado. <laughs> I've been saving it for this exact moment. So we're gonna cut this lemon in half. And then you're gonna squeeze the juice in from just half of it. If you're using the whole avocado, you can do the whole lemon if you want, but it's kind of a lot. All right. Oh, sorry if that's loud. Don't need the fork anymore. So stir until the lemon juice is all incorporated. And then we're gonna add some seasoning. So I'm keeping it super simple with just salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Um, feel free to go nuts with this. I'm gonna add about a fourth of a teaspoon, maybe a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Um, and then just a couple cracks of fresh salt and pepper another thing that or spice if you guys have it that goes really well with this is from trader joe's it's called everything but the bagel seasoning um, i love to top my avocado toast with that it's so good it's basically what the name says it's everything all the toppings on an everything bagel in a shaker and you just put it on honestly everything it tastes good so we're gonna set this aside and now we're gonna chop our banana or slice it to top uh, the sweet version this banana's on its last leg I like bananas when they're like still green so this one is very ripe so we're just gonna cut it, as you can see, just into slices. You can make it, do it on a, oops, like at an angle, I'm not sure what that's called. So it looks pretty. You also might not use the whole thing. That's okay, you can just snack on the end. All right, banana is done, put that aside. And now we're going to cook our egg. So we have a small skillet here, this tiny one. Whoa. And I'm just going to put it on medium heat for now. Let it heat up a little bit. I have a non-stick skillet. If you don't, just put some oil in it, whatever kind you have on hand. I'm just going to use this one egg and we're going to crack it and I'll show you a trick to make a perfect over easy egg, which means the yolk is runny inside. If you don't like a runny yolk, you can cook it longer and wait until it hardens up. It's totally up to you. I like a runny yolk. It's my favorite part of avocado toast. So. Another tip that my mother taught me while cooking is to clean as you go. So. For instance, if I wasn't on Instagram Live right now, I could be putting all these spices away and cleaning the utensils I've made so far so that it's not like a crazy mess um, once you're done. All right. This is gonna be nice and hot by now. Let's see if you can see. So we're gonna crack one egg just right into the skillet. Like that. Season it with a little bit more salt and pepper. Can't open the salt. Okay, and then while that cooks, let's check on our sweet potatoes. going so if you're using a toaster you have to keep pressing it down pressing it down um, 
But yeah. So while the egg cooks, what I'm gonna do, once the white, or the translucent part turns almost all the way white, you're gonna add a little bit of water into the lid, like a skillet lid, probably like a tablespoon or two, and you're gonna put it on top of the egg so it steams for probably a minute or so, and then it's gonna make uh, a coating over the top where it looks like you made a fried egg with flipping it and stuff, but you didn't have to do anything. So we'll put that in the skillet, just like this, into the lid. It's not ready yet. So now I have to stand here like this. Let's see, does anyone have any questions? Hi everyone. Let's see. I wanna know if anyone has ever had sweet potato toast. Yes, no? Some people who I've made it far on here, I know. Okay, so here we have, now that the egg white is almost fully cooked, we're gonna add, and you're gonna hear a sizzle, or not. Okay, it's gonna cook and steam the top of the egg yolk. Um, see it's bubbling in there? So you wait probably, I'd say like a minute and a half, two minutes. We're gonna have a perfect yolk, and then, we're gonna build our sweet potato toast. And then I'm gonna eat it, because I haven't eaten lunch yet. <laughs> and it's 2.15, it's too long. Any guess on how many calories? Oh goodness, um, I do not know off the top of my head. I do know it's less calories than if you were making it with bread, <laughs> if that helps. Alrighty. Perfect, see the egg is done. Let me show you. See, perfectly cooked egg with no effort. So you're just gonna remove it from the heat and let it sit there until we're ready to build our toast, which should be right now. One second. need tongs. <laughs> Alright, so now we have our done sweet potatoes. They look like this. Bananas in the way. Okay, they're super hot, but see how it's getting a little bit brown? Not as brown as I'd like, but they're fork tender, which means they're ready. All right, so let's build our sweet potato toast. First we'll do, let's do the sweet one first. So we're gonna take about a tablespoon of peanut butter and slather it right on there. Like this. I don't know about you guys, but I love peanut butter. <laughs> you can also use almond butter sunflower butter, whatever you have on hand or whatever you like. I know some people are allergic to peanuts, so obviously don't use peanut butter. Let's do one of these, and then it'll start melting because the sweet potatoes are pretty hot, which makes it even better. Then we're gonna top it with the sliced banana, like this. Make it nice and pretty. Like that making a mess. And then you're gonna drizzle honey on top. You can make this your own. Okay, I've also put like strawberries on top. Um, you can put chocolate chips if you're feeling crazy. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of cinnamon on top. And look how pretty that is. So that is the sweet version. like that. Peanut butter banana. Perfect. And now we're going to make the savory version. So using the avocado that we mashed up earlier, just like you would make avocado toast and put the mashed avo onto your
piece of bread, you're going to put it right on this sweet potato, like that. We're going to top it with our beautiful fried egg with a runny yolk. Just like that. It won't fit perfectly on there, but close enough. And that's it. Now you have two breakfast options, or lunch in my case today. You can top this with hot sauce. Um, feta cheese is really good. You can also put a layer of um, sauteed spinach or kale. It's super good. You can top it, honestly, with whatever you would top toast with, like I said. And there you have it. So, whoa. Now it's time to eat. If you're making it with me, enjoy. If you weren't, um, the recipe is on my feed. You just have to scroll back a little bit. It's not on my blog yet, but I will post it hopefully tomorrow. Um, so it'll be there for good. So let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, hope you guys like this one. Yeah, you eat this with a knife and fork or you can pick it up and eat it. It just might be a little bit messy. I like to eat, especially the avocado toast one, um, with a knife and fork.